I don't know if anyone has seen the like, but in 2016, Kashima Antlers of Japan went on a very impressive run, a historic run that few expected to happen. In a few weeks, they went from finishing in 11th place in the second stage of the J League to winning three titles, eliminating three continental champions, and pushing Real Madrid to extra time in the FIFA Club World Cup final. Kashima had narrowly won the first stage of the J League, so with this title, they had automatically qualified to the championship series at the end of the season which back then consisted of a three-team knockout tournament involving the champions of the first and second stages and any team that finished in the top three overall. So came the semi-final, as Kashima had to beat Kawasaki Frontale away. Kashima ended up beating the hosts thanks to Mu Kanazaki's 50th minute goal. Remember this name because this guy would become a legend in the upcoming weeks. Next came the J League final against favorites Urawa Reds, the second stage winners. In the first leg, Urawa won 1-0 away to Kashima. On top of being favorites before this series began, they were taking back home an important away goal for the second leg. The second leg is one of the most dramatic finals in J-League history. The stadium was buzzing in a celebratory mood. Hos Urawa actually went ahead in the seventh minute thanks to a volley by Goroki. But surprisingly, Mu Kanazaki, the hero of the semifinal, tied the game in the 40th minute. Urawa were still champions as long as they could hold on to the draw. But in the 79th minute came a dramatic moment as Suzuki was brought down by Japan international Makino. Mu Kanazaki took the biggest penalty of his life as he slotted in the second goal. From then came 10 breathtaking minutes of drama as the Reds desperately tried to tie the game to win the title. In the end, Kashima held on and won their sixth title in history. Since Japan was hosting the 2016 FIFA Club World Cup, the Japanese champions were extended an invitation to the tournament. There, only five days after winning the J-League title, Kashima started their campaign by beating the Oceania Club champions, Auckland City of New Zealand. Next, in the quarterfinals, they beat African Club champions Mamelodi Sundowns of South Africa 2-0. In the semifinals, they met with South American Copa Libertadores Club champions Nacional of Colombia. And for the first time in history, an Asian team made it to the Club World Cup final after Kashima won 3-0. This in itself was a momentous victory in a tournament historically dominated by Europeans and South Americans. The final came on December 18, 2016. As Kashima took on Real Madrid, Karim Benzema took the lead for the Madrid side in the ninth minute. However, Shibasaki tied the match in the 44th minute and then took the lead in the 52nd. Ronaldo would tie it in the 60th minute. However, a massive moment of controversy occurred in the 89th minute, as Sergio Ramos, who was already on a yellow card, stopped a Kashima counterattack. The referee at first feigns that he's going to pull out a regulation yellow card. However, Ramos tells him something as if reminding him that he's already on a yellow, and the referee inexplicably decides to spare him. This is a very important moment that conditioned the rest of the match. Predictably, Real Madrid would end up winning 4-2 thanks to a Ronaldo hat trick. 
Kashima had done Japan proud. It seemed defeating three continental champions and performing well against the Champions League winners caused the team to grow in confidence. Because only six days later, the Emperor's Cup, which is Japan's equivalent to the FA Cup, started its quarter-final stage. From there, Kashima were unstoppable, beating Sanfrecce Hiroshima at home 1-0, then beating Yokohama Marinos away 2-0 in the semifinals. And finally, on January 1st, they beat Kawasaki Frontale 2-1 to win their fifth Emperor's Cup. Oh. And as a bonus, in their next match, which came a month later, Kashima beat Urawa Reds 3-2 on February 18th to claim the Japanese Super Cup for the sixth time. So in a matter of a few weeks, a team that had finished 11th place in the second stage of the J-League ended up winning three titles, eliminating three continental champions, and playing very well against the Champions League winners. I think in terms of making a sudden run to the top, this is a very remarkable tale in football. Till next time.